Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to show you how to download a macOS installer using a simple terminal command. This method is super handy if you want to grab an older version of macOS directly from Apple's servers without going through the App Store or using third-party tools. The command we'll be using today is the software update command, which is built right into macOS. Let's dive in and see how it works. Before we jump into the steps, let's quickly talk about what the software update command does. This is a built-in command line tool that lets you interact with Apple's software update servers. It can do a lot of things like checking for updates, installing updates, or downloading full macOS installers. For our purpose today, we'll use it to download a specific macOS version installer, whether it's a newer version or an older one. I will be doing this tutorial on macOS Sequoia 15.3.1. Let me know on the comments below which macOS you tried this method. First things first, open terminal. Here's how you do it. Press command then space to open spotlight. Type in terminal and hit enter. Now that you've got terminal open, we're ready to get started. I provided the command on the description box of this video. Copy it and paste it here on the terminal, then press enter on your keyboard. You will be greeted with these list of available installers that you can download. From here, you can see the macOS variations, followed by its version number, file size, and the build number. We will be particularly looking into the version number. All you have to do is highlight your desired macOS version number, right-click on it, then copy, then right-click on bottom part, then paste the version number and press Enter on your keyboard. The command will go out and fetch the installer from Apple's servers. Depending on the size of the macOS version and your internet connection, it may take a while to download, so be patient. What I typically do when downloading any installer from Apple, I open up a terminal window and type ping swcdn.apple.com to potentially stabilize and speed up your download. What this does is keep the connection to Apple's servers strong and stable during the download. It's like giving your Wi-Fi a little extra boost so the file doesn't get interrupted. During the download process, if your Mac stops communicating with the server for even a few seconds, the download can pause, or worse, it might fail. By constantly pinging the server, you're ensuring your Mac stays connected throughout the whole download process. It's like having a little helper who checks in with the server every so often to make sure everything is still on track. It's also a nice trick if you have a slightly flaky internet connection or if you're in an area with spotty Wi-Fi. The ping helps hold that connection steady until the download is done, making it less likely that the download will get interrupted midway. A few inches later. So here we are. You may see this message on the terminal. Once the download succeeded, you may now close all the terminal window. Now the shiny macOS Sonoma can now be seen on the launch pad. It would be on the second page. And alternatively, it can be found under the Applications folder on your Finder window. This video was recorded using Screen Studio. Check them up later. In some cases, you may encounter this error message. When you attempt to download macOS Catalina, or any other older version, you may encounter errors because Apple may restrict or prevent the download on newer macOS versions, especially if those versions are not designed to run on newer hardware. It automatically checks your current macOS version and prevents you from downloading an older macOS installer if you're already running a newer version, which in my case I'm using Sequoia. This is Apple's way of trying to ensure that users are always on the latest and safest version of macOS. But if you want to download older versions, then you might want to check our next video, which tackles on how to download old versions of macOS. Click the video on your screen and see you there. 